rarely do something like this, but uh, part one, question 10, I'm going to show you a mistake um, and um, how to avoid it. Okay, so let's first solve it correctly, and then I'll show you the mistake that can be very easily made under the pressure of an exam. Uh, we have a 53-year-old woman who weighs 78 kilos, so again, we just keep that alone, presents to the hospital uh, after ingesting ethylene glycol, antifreeze, an hour ago. In accordance with the hospital guidance, the consultant requests to use oral ethanol for the management of the overdose. The oral loading dose of ethanol in the form of whiskey, gin, and vodka at 40%, is 2.5 milliliters per kg. The pharmacy department supplies gin at 35% by volume of ethanol. How many mLs of 35% gin will be required to provide a loading dose of ethanol for this patient? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. The first thing you should think is, right, well, I've got to figure out what it would have been at 40%. You know, if we had had the brand that we really could have used or wanted, uh, then let's just figure out what that would have been. So we see that we have certain mLs of 40%. MLs goes on top, the kilograms we've got to get rid of, so 78 kilograms uh, times, uh, or 78 kilograms and one kilogram of diagonal to each other, we get rid of those units. We're left with 195 MLs of 40%. The pharmacy department doesn't have 40%. So uh, what do we need to do? Well, this is a little bit tricky. There's two ways to do it. This is the right way. 35 times Z MLs or Z MLs equals 40 times 195 mLs. Normally I'd use x here, but I've been using x as a multiplication sign, so I'm going to use z. Um, and then we see that you know, we take our 35 and we bring it over here. We divide both sides by 35. So z mLs equals 40 times 195 mLs over 35. And we get 222.857143 mLs. And we round, uh, as requested, to the nearest whole number, 223 mLs. So 223 mLs of 35% gin is required to provide a loading dose of ethanol for this patient. The check is, is my quantity of 35%, which is more diluted, greater than my quantity of 40%? Intuitively, it must be. Okay, so if you have something more diluted, you're going to need more of it to get the exact same amount of the active ingredient, if you want to call it that, uh, 40%. Okay, so let's see it the incorrect way. I'm not going to reread this. Nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed here. What's changed is that I thought that the Z mLs goes with 195 mLs in the numerator, and we're going to match those in the proportion, and 35 goes with the 40. So when I do my factoring, I get 35 times 195 over 40 equals 170.625 mLs, or 171 mLs. Perfectly plausible answer until you think, wait a minute, there's no way that I can need less of a more diluted substance to equal this greater percentage. Okay, so uh, sometimes if you have that wherewithal during the exam, you want to think intuitively, does this make sense? Okay, so when you're checking or going back through it, uh, this is what I'd recommend. So intuitively, if you have a greater percentage, you will need less liquid uh, than if you have a lesser percentage. Okay. So if I had 40%, okay, I'm going to need this number, 195, to be less okay, than this number, 171. Okay? And that didn't happen here. So because it didn't happen, this can't be correct. I goofed here, uh, and then the previous page uh, is the correct one. And we'll end with that image here so that you can pause it on that one.